Bismillah Rahman Rahim. My name is Dr. Asadullah. I am representing uh, Radiology Department, Mufti Mahmood Teaching Hospital. Uh, first of all, I thank you, Ms. Abad, to that she provided us an opportunity to express our thoughts in such a well organized conference. So, let me uh, start my topic. As from the topic, you know, sensitivity and specificity of duplex ultrasound measurements in the estimation of internal carotid artery stenosis. As we know that uh, CVA is the world leading cause of death after RTA. So in CVA, this is a one parameter which we can use and which we are using routinely, which is cheap, easy available and is non-invasive. So uh, what we can do in this, uh, there is, uh, as we know from the anatomy, there is common carotid, there is internal, external, bilaterally. So the point of focus is, we first focus on common carotids bilaterally and then uh, we uh, root out the uh, internal carotid arteries bilaterally. Uh, from this, the, uh, the picking points uh, like the common carotid arteries in the, com in the CCA, we first focus on their antimal medial thickness. If the internal medial thickness is significant, we consider the patient significant and we continue the study onward. And the second point is, uh, uh, where is the plague? The plague is present, yes or no? And what is the morphology of the plague? And this is type 1 plague, type 2, type 3, type 4. And this is called calcified, uh, partially calcified, and this is a hypoechoic, hyperechoic. These are some terminology which we used and classified the plagues according to our sound basis. And then we goes, uh, we uh, trace out the location of the plague. The way is the location, the plague is uh, placed. This is a proximal common carotid made at the distal common carotid, common carotid bulb, or the plague is located in the uh, carotid bulb and is extension to the internal carotid. Then we signified this plague and we calculate the velocities, the proximal to the plague and distal to the plagues. And this is very much important in the prognosis of the patient, disease, and what will the disease occur in the near future. So in the uh, last study is the uh, uh, duplex spectral do Doppler waveform, uh, which is a biphasic waveform. This waveform also tells you that what is going on and what it, uh, will be the consequences next. So uh, uh, this is the various uh, uh, tra tracking points which we used uh, for these common carotids. Uh, this common carotid is the right internal carotid, anterior medial, and the uh, external is posterior laterally. And these are the various tracking points. But the significant point is, is the, uh, what is the internal medial thickness? What is the plague? Location of the plague? And what is the peak systolic velocities? Uh, as we know, the strokes is the uh, leading cause of death worldwide after RTAs. Uh, clinical behavior and stroke. So we have conducted a study uh, to gauge the frequency and diagnostic exactitude of artery ducted image and pathology detection to arterial blood vessel pathology. The background of the uh, study is uh, just to focus on the, uh, the things which we I al already described. And the study was cross-sectional in combined military hospital Peshawar from 1st August 2019 to 31st March 2020. Uh, we have examined 120 patients, the including criteria were uh, all the patients with cerebrovascular accidents. And uh, uh, we compared and comp uh, uh, this uh, Doppler ultrasound findings or compares with carotid artery stenosis reports. The reports which ha we have multiple of, uh, uh, the, for the common carotid, we use multiple modalities like multi detector CT scan, MRAs, invasive angiographies, images. So, as this is cheap, easy, available, and uh, uh, this is a non-invasive procedure. So uh, we put this in comparison to the uh, uh, various types of latest procedures, uh, which are consuming and is cost effective as well. Uh, the mean age of the patients were from 30 to 80 years, but uh, the average age of the patient was 63 plus minus three years. One years, three months uh, duration of the study. Uh, the sensitivity of the uh, study was uh, the, uh, this duplex study uh, is uh, about 89.5% sensitive and the specificity was 76.20. Uh, the positive predictive value of 45.5% is the negative predictive value is 93. This negative predictive value is very much important in common carotids. When you, when you pick up that there is no intimal medial thickness, 
uh, there is no plaque and there is no change in peak systolic velocities. This is excluded that you will not go further, uh, further uh, goes out for any invasive angiographic images because the roots from the carotids to the base of skull is almost intact. Uh, the conclusion of that study was with advancement in technology like multi-detector CT scans, uh, magnetic resonance, carotid and geographic uh, uh, modalities, carotid stenosis diagnostics uh, has significantly improved over the decades via various imaging modalities. The use of computer-aided programs has increased the sensitivity, precision, and accuracy of carotid. Uh, this multi-detector CT scans. MRA, uh, magnetic resonance imaging, this, they are very much sensitive. We can pick, uh, uh, like we uh, use routinely this for, uh, for carotid, yeah, coronary angiography images. They are very much sensitive, but they are very cost effective and they are very much uh, technical dependent modalities. So, uh, and this uh, duplex is easy available and uh, cost effective and uh, no need of that much such of type of uh, experienced hands and you can pick a very uh, uh, big uh, problems uh, that if you find there is a IMT plex uh, you can uh, consult with various type of uh, um, specialities that the patient is what is happening in the next couple of days so thank you